All right, this is how you're gonna check for updates for these DualSense controllers if you don't have a game console. So you gotta download this PlayStation Accessories app from PlayStation's official website. Then you use a Type-C cable, presumably USB 3. This is only USB 2, so speed's still gonna be reduced. You're gonna plug it into the controller. Once you plug it into the controller, the software should detect that you have a controller connected. And you can see there's an update. So I'm gonna click update. Update. Now you do not want to unplug the controller or else it could corrupt the firmware that's on here and you won't be able to use it on, on your devices. So make sure you leave it plugged in until the update's complete and now update's complete. So, and then I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this. You can also, you can also connect it to your Bluetooth, but I'm just doing it from a USB cable. So let's update. This cable came with my uh, charger play kit for the Xbox controller, but it works on the DualSense controller. The, normally, if you buy these separately, these do not come with a charging cable, so you gotta provide one of your own. It says firmware update complete. And now the firmware's are updated on these controllers. You simply have to unplug the cable. And you have when you do this update, you have the cable plugged into your computer. If you have if you use Bluetooth, that's fine, but of course with a cable, you gotta plug it into the computer. And once your controls up to date, it should work. The only reason you want to update the console, controller um is if you have any issues with the controller, or you just want to keep it up to date, it's best to keep them up to date so that your controllers will not have issues. So, hope you guys enjoyed.